the top of the range vehicle carrying President-elect Uhuru Kenyatta arrived at the residence of former President Daniel Arap Moy at Nairobi's Cabernet Gardens. The president-elect was received by Moy's son, Kano Chairman Gideon Moy. It was time for Kenyatta to meet his political mentor, the retired president and the incoming president posing for the cameras during a photo session. A statement from the presidential press service says Moy and Kenyatta held talks on, among other things, the forthcoming presidential swearing-in ceremony scheduled for this coming Tuesday at the Moy International Sports Center in Kasaran in Nairobi. The former president, by virtue of being one of the only three other people to have held the presidency in this country, probably had some advice for Uhuru on the ceremony ahead of that special day. In the meeting, which was attended by Kano Chairman Gideon Moy, among others, the president-elect and the retired president also discussed other issues of national importance. It is not lost on observers that it is Moy, who as president, handpicked Kenyatta from private life and business and took him under his wings in politics, first picking him as a nominated MP and then later naming him his preferred successor ahead of the 2002 general election which Kenyatta later lost. <laughs> Since then, Kenyatta carved his own niche politically, first as the chairman of Kano, then founding the National Alliance Party TNA, and later joining hands with William Ruto of URP to form the Jubilee Alliance, which won the just-concluded general election. The meeting with Moy at Cabernet Gardens was just one of the many in today's diary of President-elect Kenyatta. He also met Finance Minister Njeru Githai. The incoming head of state is keen to hit the ground running and made that clear to Gidai. And the reason why we want a supplementary budget is because we have been uh, looking at uh, the Jubilee Manifesto. We want to see what, what, what did the president elect, what, what did he promise Kenyans? What can we take immediately on board? President-elect Kenyatta and Deputy President-elect William Ruto also met several diplomats from across the globe at the Kenyatta International Conference Center in Nairobi. Somalia's ambassador to Kenya, Mohamed Noor, was among those who met the incoming president. Kenya still has troops in Somalia as part of the African Union peacekeeping mission and has been a key player in peace talks to return normalcy there. Kenyan troops supported by Somali government troops have also played a key role in retaking territory from the Al-Shabaab militants. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you and welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for yeah. Kenyatta also met diplomats from Brazil, Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Israel, Momentum. We are celebrating. <laughs> and Uganda. Asante. Thank you very much. President-elect Kenyatta has held several other meetings with diplomats in recent days as he prepares to take over the reins of power this coming Tuesday. Abdi Osman, Citizen Live at 9.